Once upon a young year, when all the shadows disappeared, the animals inside came out to play. Hi everybody out there, what's going on? My name is Anton Mizanov and in this short video we are going to take a look at how to play The Nights by Avicii in a simplified way. We are going to do this on the basis of my ukulele cover that I play by the Lakeshore. Please check it out in here or I'll give the link to it in the description box below. First I'm going to show you the basic chord that I'm using, the E minor. Then we're gonna do the strum pattern because it's the strum pattern that defines this song and then I will show you the chord progressions for the verse, for the bridge and for the chorus. So let's get started. Technically this song is in the key of E flat minor but uh, I play it just in the key of E minor because it's simpler. And here is the E minor chord on the ukulele. But to me it sounds, you know, like too straightforward. So uh, I don't just play the E minor, I play the E minor ninth. So it's the E minor with the suspended ninth. How do I do that? First, I do this minor bar shape on the second fret. So I uh, press the first two strings with my index finger on the second fret. These are B and F sharp, the ninth in the E minor chord. Then I press the third string on the fourth fret with the, the ring finger and the fourth string, which is a G, remains open. See how dramatic this E minor sounds. It's a lot different from this straightforward E minor. So we haven't started playing yet and we are already creating beautiful music. Just love this chord. Now, let's do the strum pattern. The strum pattern is uh, very much in the spirit of bluegrass music or country music, even though technically it's uh, EDM, but still. So, and the pattern that I am playing is a lot less complicated than it looks. Uh, it starts with the big ukulele strum that we do with our thumb. I've already done this lots of times in the course of this video. So it starts the bar, it starts the song, and uh, you make like this big uh, initial statement. Then we do the downstroke with our middle finger and our ring finger. Uh, don't worry about hitting the neck because even if you do hit the neck like this, it's going to give you a very nice percussive sound. So it's all right, that's part of the plan. So the first two strokes go like this. Thumb and then the combination of the middle and the ring finger. Then uh, we do the only upstroke that's in this pattern, and uh, we do this uh, with our index finger. And this upstroke, which sounds a lot weaker, is going to be immediately followed by the downstroke that we again do with our ring and middle finger. The whole thing, uh, if I play it real slow, goes like this. When I edit this video, I will uh, slow it down twice, so you will be able to see every little detail of how I'm doing this. And this is it! This pattern basically includes four strokes. Thumb, then ring finger and the middle finger, the upstroke, and uh, the middle and the ring finger again. Then you loop it, <laughs> then you get on the nerves of everybody who's around. Once you get this pattern down, once you get this strum pattern down, you can push the tempo and get it up to speed. You can fool around, around with some other chords, for example. And now let's get to the chords. So, the, the verse. It starts, obviously, with this E minor ninth. Once upon a young year, when all the shadows disappear. The next 
chord is a D. The animals inside came out to play. But, uh, see, you can press the D in a number of ways. You can press uh, the D major chord on the ukulele like this, like this, or like this, pressing the fourth string with your thumb. But the problem with soprano ukulele is that, is that uh, very often it mm, sounds like it's slightly out of tune, though, which is not very nice. And uh, I've come up with this idea. What if we just release the fourth string? If we release the fourth string and get a G note. The G note is not in the chord of D, but it is still in the key of E minor, in which the song is. And it sounds really beautiful in the context of this song. Once upon a young year, when all the shadows disappeared, the animals inside came out to play. I think this is a very cool hack because uh, the fourth string remains open throughout the, uh, the verse, and it sounds like there is some cool pedal chant going on, like some keyboard player is holding this G. Because you don't have to worry about pressing three strings at once, you just press two strings. You press uh, the second and the third strings on the second fret. And it sounds beautiful too. So, once upon a young year, when all the shadows disappeared, the animals inside came out to play. With face to face with all our fears, learn our lessons through the tears, make memories renew and never fade. And then we have to switch to the bridge. One day my father, father falls on the C major chord. Uh, the C major on the ukulele goes like this. But again uh, I tried to throw in a C major seventh chord, which looks like this, because it sounds richer and uh, it gives a very cool embellishment to your playing. One day my... Uh, it looks a lot like, G, uh, a lot like uh, the G chord on the ukulele, but it's different because we don't press the third string. The G chord is going to follow. One day my father told me, son, don't let it slip away. This is the G chord. He took me in his arms. Again, I play the D in the way that uh, I showed you earlier. Took me in his arms. I heard him say... Then the second half of the uh, verse is a little bit different. When you get older, again the C seventh chord, you are that will live for younger days, the G chord, and then we keep on holding the G chord. Think of me if ever you're afraid, and then we switch to D. And the chorus uh, is uh, sung and played over the classic chord progression, uh, which is a C. G, then D, and E minor. He said, one day you leave this world behind. G, so live a life. D, you will remember. My father told me when I was just a child. These are the nights that never die. In this uh, part, uh, the song sort of like slows down. So you can either just strum your ukulele with your thumb. He said, one day you'll leave this world behind, so live a life you will remember. Or you may use whatever uh, finger-picking pattern uh, you can use, Wh whatever finger-picking pattern you know. He said, one day you'll leave this world behind, so live a life you will remember. My father told me when I was just a child, these are the nights that never die, my father told me. And then he used the same chord progression uh, of four, or playing uh, what is supposed to be the riff here. And he played twice. And then you repeat the whole thing. When the thunder clouds stop pouring down, light the fire they can burn out. Carve your name into those shining stars. Love the song. Basically, this is it, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, please uh, write your opinion in the comment box below. 
I hope that uh, this tutor uh, tutorial <laughs> sorry, uh, has been useful for at least some of you. My name is Anton Mizanov. See you around.